The debris created in space by human activity is thought to be a significant danger to satellites and other space missions. But why is this the case, and is there anything we can actually do about it? Firstly, the mass of all the human satellites is somewhere around about 2,500 tonnes, which, if you compare it to the estimated 50,000 tonnes of asteroids and other natural objects which fall to Earth in a single year, seems like a rather tiny amount. And since most of these satellites are actually intact and in known orbits, it seems like that the asteroids would present more of a threat than do the man-made debris. The key comes not in how much there is, but where it is. The two key areas in the vastness of the space around our planet, where space missions are focused, and because of this, it's also where the majority of the space junk is also concentrated. The first zone is known as the Low Earth Orbit, about a height of 1,000 kilometres from the Earth. The height makes it relatively cheap and easy to get a satellite up to it, and reduces both time delay and the need for power for items like communication satellites, and also reduces the distance that information can be transmitted around the Earth. Also, such low orbit makes it ideal for scanning the Earth for observation, for surveying and for spy satellites. The other zone is the geosynchronous or geostationary orbit, where a satellite can maintain the same relative position over the surface of the Earth by taking about a day to orbit the Earth, keeping pace with the Earth's rotation. In order to do this, the satellite needs to orbit at around about 35,000 kilometres. Because of the stable position and large view of the planet, this means it's useful for long distance communication and for things like weather satellites. These orbits are not completely stable though, as they are affected by things like the gravitational pull of the Sun, the Moon and the Earth, and things like solar winds and radiation. This means that the satellites in long term orbits may need minor corrections in their orbit. The good news about this is that any debris in orbit around the Earth either be flung out into deep space or eventually enter into the Earth's atmosphere, most likely to burn up on re-entry. However, whilst this may take a relatively short time for the low Earth orbits, it could take a thousand years or more for the higher orbits. So where does this debris come from? Well, some of it's historic due to things like uh, the testing of anti-satellite weapons and other failed satellites, along with debris lost in space like gloves, and the breakup of rocket stages. But there is debris that orbits the planet at considerable speed, and as it collides with the still functioning satellites, not only this damages the satellite and can make them inoperative, but as they punch a hole through the satellite and create multiple pieces of debris as it exits out the other side, much like a bullet or shell puncturing a vehicle, creating shell fragments or shrapnel out the other end. The larger the satellite, the more chance it has of being hit, and the more extra debris it will produce. This is worse closer to the Earth, as the current concentration of debris is greater, and the density of things they can collide with is also greater. So, what can we do about it? Well, design changes to the satellites can minimise additional debris created in any collision. Smaller and fewer satellites, again, could minimise proliferation. Tracking the debris could mean that satellites could be moved out of the way of the collision, but it is rather difficult. However, all of these steps, unless taken to a really radical degree, are only likely to slow the growth of the amount of debris, and could mean that some satellite positions are no longer feasible, unless some method is actually found of removing the debris from the orbits. Many methods have actually been suggested, like sweeping them up or even lasering them, you can even use a traditionally UFO shaped object to nudge them either towards the Earth or into deep space. But maybe you could think of a better solution. How about it?